Hello, how's everybody doing? Well, you know how I'm doing. Praise Jesus! Okay, it is, I go outside, but it's really cold, see? Um, it's 21 degrees, yeah, 21, it's cold outside. But um, there's a boat out there, and the Coast Guard's out there too. Um, maybe I'll post a video of the Coast Guard after this. Um, I don't know, but yeah, um, it's nice, but it's freezing outside, so I'm not going outside. Um, just gonna stay right here but uh, I want to show you on a an awesome scripture um, first let me just say this cuz a lot of people ask me what's your favorite scripture I got a lot of favorite scriptures you guys so from now on this is my favorite scripture okay um, I had a Mormon laugh at me um, when I showed them the scripture um yeah they they gave me the laughing emoji so they're just mocking me they said what's your favorite scripture they sent me a picture of um of the long brown haired jesus knocking on a door and they said what does this look like to you and they said that looks like rome's jesus trying to get into my spiritual temple and she laughed because that is who that is i said i'm not opening i'm not opening the door to that jesus because there is another jesus but she said what's your favorite scripture and then she mocked me when i gave her this well all scripture <laughs> This is true. I'm not trying to be smart. <laughs> All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, reproof, for correction. Right? Re rebuke a scorner and they'll hate you, but you rebuke a wise man and they will love you and they'll increase in learning. It's awesome. For it's instruction. You guys, the Bible's instruction in righteousness. Right? Yeah, God's kingdom. Um, that the man of God may be perfect which is holy, set apart from the world. Keep yourself unspotted and blameless, right? Unspotted from the world. Um, Jesus helps us do that. We just look at look to Jesus. Um, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Awesome. So that's my favorite scripture when she asked what my favorite scripture is. Um, let's try to... See, okay. Let me see if I can find something. Um, let's see. So... Okay, here's the Mormon Bible, you guys. This is the Bible she had, this Mormon. Um, as you can see, look what it says on it. The Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. So the picture she sent me of the long brown-haired Jesus knocking on the door, don't open the door to him. He's not Jesus. That's another testament of Jesus Christ, okay? Another testament. See that? Um Okay, but I fear, at least by any means, as the serpent, right, be gullied Eve through his subtlety. It's about your mind, you guys. They want your mind. They want to get access into your brain. They want, they want, they want your mind. So your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Okay, because there's a lot of false Christ that are coming in his name, knocking on your door, and they look great. They look nice. They're well, well groomed, well dressed. They speak so much. They speak good, so much better than I do, um, you know. And they have another book in their hand, the Book of Mormon. Don't open the door to that. Don't, don't open the door to that. But it's about, it's about your mind. They, they, we gotta um, keep the things in memory that you know that Jesus taught us. Um, for if he that cometh, so this person, this Book of Mormon, they came and preached another Jesus, whom. We have not preached, or you receive another spirit, which you have not received, or another, that's another gospel, because it was another testimony of Jesus. It was another Jesus, another gospel, that you might not, which you have not accepted, that you might well bear with him. So if you if you accept that gospel and that and another Jesus and another gospel, the Book of Mormon, you might well bear with him. Bear with who? the antichrist spirit of antichrist you might well bear with him so that's another jesus okay so see how it says another jesus another gospel and then you got the mormon bible so you read that right another jesus another gospel another testament of jesus so this is saying right on this book is that scripture the light is this word of god the light exposes um the falsehoods in the world another doctrine so this is saying another gospel of Jesus. This is literally saying another testament, another Jesus, and another gospel. Right on the book, it's another, right? Yeah, and these guys go door to door. Um, these guys literally go door to door.
okay? And God says this. In the same house remain, eating and drinking such things as they get, for the labor is worthy of his hire. Go not from house to house. Um, so the Mormons, they like to, you know, Jehovah's Witness and all these different ones. They like, they go house to house. They go door knocking house to house. Well, um, I, this says do not go from house to house. Go not from house to house. Um, yeah. And um, I can't find it because uh, they took it down. But I had a screenshot of it that I can't find either in my photos. I have way too many of them. But it literally explains um, Jehovah's Witness and says, um, it says they go from house to house. And then, so I typed in the scriptures. I said, go from house to house is what I first typed in, KJV. And it's literally word for word, except it's missing the word not for Jehovah's Witness. This says, go not from house to house. That's how I test on um, people's spirit. Um, get a gift. No, no, no. I don't want to get a gift. And I, I test everything, you guys. Get a gift. Um, well, let's see what God says about this. Okay. He that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house but he that hateth gifts shall live he that hateth gifts he that hates gifts shall live so yeah i don't i don't want to um and open that open that free gift that just came through yeah i just consult the word with everything i just consult the word and that's how i learn stuff um but yeah that's i just want to show you that with the with the book of mormon it's another jesus another testimony of jesus and then another awesome scripture that i like because the old testament is a shadow um, it testifies of Jesus Christ. And then the New Testament is, it's light. Um, it opens our eyes because the light came in the world and the darkness comprehended it not, right? Um, they speak of the world and the world, the world hears them because they're of the world, right? So um, let me see if I can find um, here. I love this, okay? This is an awesome scripture. This is for anybody that's in the Old Testament reading the book of Moses and they, they, they won't they won't read the New Testament. Like, um, you know, it doesn't seem like the, the Mormons like to read the New Testament either. I, I asked her. No, she just she just laughs um, because my favorite scripture is all scriptures inspired by God. And she just mocked me. So here's the thing. Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech. It is. The simplicity of Christ is plainness of speech. But I love this scripture. Listen to this. And not as Moses, which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which is abolished. Yes, Jesus came look to the end of it. Okay, but their minds were blinded. Their minds were blinded. Okay, really quick. They were blinded by who? Let's figure this out. Their minds were blinded? Well, let's see what this goes with. In whom the God of this world... Satan, the devil, Lucifer, who is still in the world, you guys. There's still war going on in heaven. Michael hasn't cast out Satan yet. Um, he hasn't cast out Satan yet. Satan can still go back and forth like he did in Job, and he can still he can still accuse the brethren day and night before God. And there will come a time where he gets cast out to the earth, and he'll know his time is short. And that's when he'll start persecuting the saints of God. But listen to this. Um, it says their minds were blinded. Israel's, their minds were blinded, right? In whom the God... That Satan of this world hath blinded the minds. Oh, their minds are blinded, but by who? By the devil. Because, and I'll show you why. Of them which believe not. They don't believe, you guys. Least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. So look at their minds blinded, and the light has to shine. They have to go to the New Testament so they can see the truth. And I'll show you. They have to, they have to go to Christ. To even, to even unblind, only the gospel unblinds your mind because it's the light to open up the eyes, um, to turn them from darkness to light, from the power of Satan unto God, that they may see forgiveness of sins and sanctification by faith, um, that is in faith through me. Um, but look at, not as, and not as Moses, which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of those things which were abolished, but their minds were blinded. So we saw by the God of this world blinded their minds. So their minds are still blinded for until this day. Even till this day, remains the same veil. The same veil is untaken away. The same blindness in the reading of the Old Testament. They don't understand the Old Testament. When you read the New Testament, then you understand the Old Testament. Which veil is done away. Remember, the God of this world blinded their minds. Blinded their minds. And at least the light, Christ, shines onto them and unblinds their mind. So their minds are blind by the God of this world. 
And it says, <laughs> I'm the way to, <laughs> I'm this awesome. The way to unblind your mind. Yes, the way to unblind the mind is the veil is done away in Christ. The light, the believing and receiving the gospel, you guys, that he, that Jesus is a Messiah. He died and he rose, you know, he died. And on the third day, he, you know, he was buried. And on the third day, he rose again. Um, it's true. He's the resurrection. So, but even unto this day, when Moses is read, so when they read that Old Testament, the Torah, the veil is upon what? Their heart. It's a heart issue. That's why God says, I will give you a new heart. It won't let me click on heart, you guys. Um, God says, I will create in you a new heart and a new spirit will I put within you. He'll put his own spirit and his own heart in you. It's a new heart he gives us, a heart transplant. So the veil is upon their heart. That's why they can't see until the light, till Christ, right, comes in. Nevertheless, when it, what is it? Well, the heart, the heart, when it, nevertheless, when the heart, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. Then their eyes will be open and the captives will come out of their prison house. You see? Because that's what Jesus came to do. Preach liberty. And where, where, the spirit, where, the, where the spirit of the Lord is, that's liberty. So the veil is upon their heart. Right? So Awesome scriptures, you guys. Like, seriously? Awesome. It's <laughs> so awesome. Okay, okay. So, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Right? And the same was in the beginning with God. That's the Father. The Father is the Holy Spirit. He's an invisible Holy Spirit, and He is His Word. That's the Father. The Word of God, and the Word was God. And the Word that was made flesh, the Father, um, you know, He possessed a vis the invisible spirit um, embodied the visible vessel of Jesus, his firstborn son, the heir, right? And everything that he received, he gives to us. So it's a, the fullness of the Godhead, which is the one God in the beginning, the fullness of the Godhead manifested and took up residence inside of Jesus. He's the embodiment of the fullness of the Godhead. The Godhead is just the one invisible God, the Father. And then you got to go through Jesus Christ, his son, to get to him. Um, so all things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shined in the darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. This world is darkness. Satan blinds our minds. And we also deceive our own selves. So the light, Christ, shined in the darkness. Because God said, let there be light. And there was light. The light shined. He sent his son. He sent... Um, he sent a payment for our sins, our sin debt. He replaces the animal sacrifices. He's the light. He's how we restore a relationship with the holy God, um, you know, because of our fallen nature and our sin. He covers our sin debts. We got, we got to come to him with the godly sorrow. Repentance has to be granted unto salvation. And a new heart is given to us. And we have to listen to convictions and, um, you know, um, and a contrite spirit and, um, you know, confess, confess our sins unto God. Um, come to him like a humble, with a humble heart. Yeah, come to him that way. Come to him and ask him for his spirit. Ask him for a new heart. Um, you know, and and he'll give us he'll give us those things. It's a, it's a new heart. The new heart's real, and then the fruits will start to manifest too. And then we learn how to praise him the right way, which I'm learning recently how to do that. And it's awesome when I wake up and do that. So yeah, so the yeah, so the light shined in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Yeah, and it's the word that was made flesh. So um, it's it's. It's the word that was made flesh because it's a, the light shined in the darkness and the word was made flesh. And God said, let there be light. Um, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. It's instruction in righteousness, but they can't hear, you know, um, they just can't hear. They just can't hear because they, they're so blinded that they're, um, you know, they are of the world. Therefore, speak they of the world, 
So they speak carnal. They're still in the carnal natural man. <clears throat> and the natural man cannot understand the things of God. You have to have the spirit of God and you got to be quickened, born again of the Holy Spirit. Um, unless you're born of water and spirit, you will not see the kingdom of God. And you can receive the Holy Spirit before your, before your water baptism, because I did. Um, and the Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you and teach you and lead you into all truth. And he won't speak of himself. He'll show you things to come. And he'll speak Jesus Christ. He'll speak what's written. Okay? That's what he speaks. So they are of the world. Therefore, speak they of the world. And the world heareth them. So when they speak... They're speaking lies and half-truths and carnal things, physical things, you know, stuff like that. They don't understand spiritual things. They don't understand the things of the spirit because the spirit in you, when you are quickened and born again, that spirit will search out the things of God and reveal it to you. So the spirit has to be in you to seek out the things of God and then reveal to you through the revelation of Jesus Christ um, what the truth is. So they're of the world. They speak of the world and the world hears them. So we speak. They don't hear us. Um, you know, they just, they just don't hear, um, they just don't hear. They just need to hear the gospel and receive it because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So if they don't hear the word of God, they can't, they can't believe. And then when you believe you have to also receive, and then you have to continue in all things. Cause Jesus said, um, you're my friend. If you do whatever I command you to do, we got to continue in all things. Um, so we are of God. He that knoweth God hears us, right? Um, and he that is not of God, hears not us. And hereby we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So, yeah, so there's going to be a lot of people, um, like the Mormons I was showing you, that are going to be talking about Jesus, but it's another Jesus, you know, and it's added books to the Bible. It's another testimony of Jesus. Um, it's all these other books. Okay, and further... By these, my son, be admonished of the making of many books. Book of Mormon. <clears throat> the te another testimony of Jesus Christ. Another Jesus. Another gospel. It's right there. All you got to do is consult the scriptures. Search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. They testify of Jesus. And search the scriptures. See if these things are so. And they come and bring you another book, like the book of Mormon. Well... It's another Jesus, another gospel. And right on it, it says, another testimony of Jesus Christ. There is not another testimony of Jesus Christ. So be admonished, my son, of the making of many books, that there is no end. There's no end to these making of many books, these added to the word. You know, he's going to add plagues and plagues onto you if you add to God's word. So if you're making all these, look at all these other books that are coming, the catechism book and the um, the 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 Queen James Bible and all, all these other things. It's the making of many books that there is no end. Everyone wants to be an author. Everybody wants to be an author. They're making all these books and there's no end to it. And much study is a weariness of the flesh. So you only want to study one thing. You want to study the word and show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So you don't want to study all these other books. You just want to study one book. Um, and that's that's the word of God. So you want to, you want to be careful about the making of all these, all these many other books. And not be reading all these other books. Because if you if you start reading these books of Mormon and Catechism book and all these other books, what you believe is what you receive. Okay? So you want to believe and receive one book. Um, um, you want to believe and receive the truth. So everyone wants to everybody wants to be an author. The devil wants to be an author too, you know, and make up all these other books and these other writings and the making of many books, which there is no end. You know, so you don't want to study that. It'll wear your flesh out. Looking on to Jesus, the author. Everyone wants to be an author. They want to write about Jesus and they want to decipher his word and tell you what his word means and twist scriptures and to their own destruction. But they all want to be an author, right? But looking on to Jesus, he's the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him. See, he went to the, nobody made him go. It was joy for him to go and, um, take care of business and get the keys of hell and death and um overcome you know yeah he he overcame the world he's overcome the world um you know to set us free right so for the joy that was set before him endured he had to endure the cross so you think we don't have to endure anything we have to endure trials and tribulations um you know everyone that was in christ was persecuted you know we're gonna endure things um there's no we're not there's no easy way no it doesn't doesn't it doesn't work like that um, he, he endured the cross. So we have to pick up our cross and endure until the end also. So despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. So he's got the authority, um, you know, power, all that. But um, let me see if I can make this bigger. I don't know.
Okay, well, there's the Coast Guard. Sorry to pause, I had to sneeze. There they go. There they go. Okay, there they go. All right, so praise Jesus, all glory to God, to the living Lord God by Jesus Christ. And um, God bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. You probably thought that was the last that you'd see of me, but um, the I kept saying the scripture um, um, that kept coming to me. Search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. Um, well, then when I shut my video off, that came in my mind, um, and I was like, okay. I kept saying that in another video. I was like, so um, maybe uh, I know. It's not maybe. I know the Lord wants me to read this also, because it goes with what I was talking about with Moses. It actually goes with it. So um, the video's not done. So if you're still here, praise God with me. Um, and you will not, okay, the scriptures testify of Jesus, okay? They testify of him, of him coming. And he came. The Messiah came. The next Messiah that's coming, that the whole world's looking for, that the Muslims are looking for, that the Buddhists are looking for, the New Agers are looking for, the Catholics are looking for, um, the whole world is looking for, even the atheist is looking for somebody, uh, some kind of alien, something to come and do something. I don't know what they think the aliens are going to do, but there are no aliens. So those are devils. Those are spirits of devils um but um evil spirits evil angels right so they're looking for someone to come right so um they're looking for um and, and israel over there is looking for the messiah because they don't believe the messiah came the scriptures testify of jesus he already came so the antichrist is who comes next right so um and they okay and you will not come to me scriptures testify of jesus the light came jesus came he had the light in him he had the father in him he had the word and the Holy Spirit, the invisible Holy Spirit of the Father was in his son, Jesus. So the light came. He had the light in him. He came in his father's word, his father's name. And we are a light on a hill, on a city that can't be hid. We're, we have the light in us also. That same spirit. <clears throat> yes, I still, I got a cold, you guys. Um, and you will not come to me that you might have life. Because <clears throat> he's the truth, the way, and the life. And no man can go to the Father except they believe in Jesus, Okay. I receive not honor from men, okay? But I know you, those that won't listen, that spirit of Antichrist, that stubborn, bullheaded goat spirit that won't listen, they just won't hear, they won't receive, they, they do this, they cover their own ears, they're rebellious people. Yeah, um, they just, they hate the truth, they hate the light, they won't come to the light because they don't want their deeds. Remember, um, this is the condemnation that light came into the world and men love darkness rather than light. They love the darkness because their deeds are evil. They like sin. They like the, they like it. They like the flesh. It feels good. They like the flesh. They like what they're doing. They don't want to depart from their iniquity. Um, they don't want to depart from their lawlessness and self-will worship, okay? So, but I know you, that you have not the love of God in you. You have not the love of God in you. So they, they don't have the love of God in them. They don't love God, right? And we love him because he first loved us. We should love God. Look what he gave for, for you. This life is temporary. Um, we're not here forever. There is a heaven and there is a hell. And you don't want to pay for your own sin debt, your own wages. He paid it. You can get, you can be forgiven for everything. He paid it. Okay. Um, of course, except for blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Um, but I am come in my father's name. He came in his father's name, which is his father's word. Okay. And you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. So you have to believe and receive, okay? You gotta receive also. Because these believe the word with all, they receive the word with all readiness of mind. So your mind's blind, but when you believe and receive the word by hearing, the blind light gets expelled because there's two types of light. You got the blinding light, you know, blinded by the light. Um, you got the blinding light of Lucifer, and then you've got the light of the gospel which has to shine and remove the blinding light out of your mind. So there's a light that blinds, but light also reveals, exposes, expels the darkness. The light has to shine in there. So these, this is the condemnation that light came into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. That's why. It's because their deeds are evil. They don't want to let the light in to expose their in, uh, iniquity and transgressions so that God, Jesus, can start rooting it out. So... 
If another come in his own name, him you, him you will receive, you know, and that's the Antichrist and all these other doctrines are coming in their own name and that's who you're going to receive. Um, yeah, so you want the light of the glorious gospel to shine in there into your blind mind and faith, faith, you hear and you believe and you receive, hear and do. Um, don't deceive your own self. Um, how can you believe which receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that comes from God only? Yeah. Um, do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuses you, even Moses, in whom you trust. So if you're just reading the Old Testament, you trust Moses' Moses letters. Moses spoke of Jesus. That's, look it. Search the scriptures. Search them. They testify of Jesus. Okay? They testify of him. You have to receive him. Um, so how can you believe? Okay, so um, do you think, do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There's one that accuses you even Moses, okay, in whom you trust. So you trust Moses? He's saying, trust me also because Moses spoke of him. If you believe Moses' writings, then why don't you believe who Moses spoke of that said the Messiah came and fulfilled those things you can see in the Old Testament, line it up with the New Testament. I mean, the light just comes in and boom, all that darkness just gets expelled out of your mind and he starts restoring you and renewing your mind because you prove what are those acceptable and perfect and the will of God, right? And his will is that no man perish. He don't want you to perish, that all men come to the truth. He wants you to repent. Repent or you will all likewise perish. He wants you to repent. He has to grant you godly soul repentance. It comes from the heart. It's a heart issue, okay? Um, so, so there's one that accuses you, even Moses, in whom you trust. So they trust the Old Testament only, okay? For had you believed Moses, but do they really believe Moses? Do they really? Because they're looking for the, the Messiah to come. He already came. The Antichrist is coming, you guys. That's who's coming. At least there be a fallen away first and that man of sin be, be revealed. There are many Antichrists right now, but there is going to be the Antichrist, okay? But there are many Antichrists right now. So... So to think, um, don't let anybody tell you, um, in word and letter, as if from, as if from us, that the day of the Lord is at hand. So everyone's saying Jesus could come at any second, any moment. This does make sense. Any moment, any moment he can come, but the day of the Lord is at hand. He says, um, except, um, there come a falling away first and the man of sin be revealed. Well, yeah, people are falling away, but it does seem like the big falling away would be all the pre-tribulation rapture believers. Well, if they're not prepared and then they're here for this and say there is some kind of project blue beam thing or hologram where it looks like people are going up into the sky and then you realize that you're and then you realize because tribulation is not God's wrath so you realize that you're still here to go through tribulation to go through persecution um to endure unto the end um yeah you're gonna lose you're gonna lose hope um because because it was a false doctrine so it does matter it does matter what doctrine we believe um the falling away has to happen so that'd be a whole lot of believers that just fall away. That would be a great falling away. I mean, it does make sense, you guys. This is this is what I'm sticking with because when I'm searching for that stuff and looking into the the other like what the world the the majority is going after an easy an easy um, escape out. Um, you know, um, I get confused. Um, but then when when God brings me back to what I originally believed when I first came out of the Catholic Church and what I first believed about before I started watching any Left Behind movies anything, then. Um, confusion's gone. So I'm going to stick with that. Um, confusion's gone. That's the truth. I'm going to stick with that. That's what God's showing me. That's what God's showing me. So um, do not think that, okay, so for had you believed, but anyway, if, had you believed Moses, if you really believed Moses, okay, you would have believed me for he wrote of me. See, search the scriptures. Moses wrote of Jesus. Um, you know, the, the lamb, um, you know, the sacrifice that Abraham, I mean, you could see it in everything. Um, Abraham sacrifice, um, his, his one son, um, you know, and then God said, I'll provide the lamb. Um, that was speaking of Jesus too, that we don't have to do that. He, he's the high priest. We go right. Jesus, the only mediator between God and man, you know, him, he's the one he's, he's the one he it's awesome. Like, um, yeah, just believe the gospel. Just believe the gospel. Just believe and receive, and he'll show you. But Moses spoke of Jesus. The scriptures testify of Jesus, and then the light came, okay? The light was in Jesus. He came in his Father's name. See? I come in my Father's name. Yeah, he had the Father in him. Right. It's true. Um, so if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, for he wrote of me. Because the scriptures testify of 
Jesus. Um, but if you believe not his writings, how shall you believe my words? And whose words did Jesus have? Well, he came in his father's name and his father's word. Um, right? Now look at, okay? He came in his father's word, okay? It is the spirit that quickeneth. Jesus was made a living... Okay, the first Adam was made a living soul. The last Adam is Jesus. He was made a quickening spirit. So it is the spirit that quickeneth. Okay, the flesh profits nothing. He came in his father's word. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. Um, the word that he had in him was the spirit. The spirit is invisible. God is spirit. God is holy. God is his word. Um, and these three are one. It doesn't say these three are in one. These three are one. God is his own word. You can't be something without having um, a word, without without um, having a doctrine, um, you know, uh, without having without having an intelligence, um, a mind, a mind. So God is, he's righteousness. His word is righteous. He's an invisible Holy Spirit. That is the Father, the one true God. So the words, Jesus came in his Father's word. So the words that he speaks unto you, unto you, um, they are spirits and they are life, right? Because God is an invisible spirit, the breath of life. He is the spirit. He is the words that Jesus spoke. His father's word. He came in his father's word and you receive him not. So if someone comes in their own name or in their own word, then that's what you'll receive. So receive Jesus because he's a resurrection. He's the only one that died and rose again. Came back from the dead. So don't be deceived when the Antichrist comes. You know, say there is another deadly head wound and then he's, you know, and he's have all these miracles and all these different things that will be happening. Um, so if he comes in his own words, you got to receive Jesus like now, like today. Okay, God bless you in Jesus' name. I had to add this to the video. So um, God bless you all in Jesus' name. Praise Jesus. Keep play praising him. Hallelujah. Praise God. My car is going to show up. Okay, God bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. And keep going. Today is an awesome day. Wake up. Praise God. Today's an awesome day. Keep going. Endure unto the end. Continue in all things. Keep growing in the spirit. Let his fruits manifest in you. Let him work those things out, out in your heart. Um, when he starts rooting things out and all the fruits manifest, yes, um, you don't need any substance. Nothing, nothing's going to help. Nothing's, nothing is like, nothing's like this, you guys. I tell you the truth. And a lot of you already know. A lot of you already know this is true. But for those who don't know and you made it to the end of the video, well, then this video is for you. And um, I pray that, I pray you hear. I pray the Lord opens your eyes with, takes the blinding light out, the blinding light, the light that blinds the mind and um, shines the glorious light of the gospel of Jesus in there. At least that light shine in there, you know, then, then you'll be set free. Okay. And you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth and the life. Okay. These words are life. He's the life. He's the resurrection. It's him. The Messiah came. It's him. Don't go look for another. Should we look for another? No, don't look for another because the Antichrist is coming. And I'm sticking with this because my confusion is gone now. I'm sticking with it. I know the truth. I've known it for some time. So I'm not going to be deceived. Um, I'm, yeah, you guys, you better prepare spiritually because a falling away is about to happen. I don't know when, but that's what's going to happen. A falling away and that man of sin be revealed. So the falling away is going to happen. And that's a lot of believe only um, people that are just... Um, Jesus can come at any minute. Um, tribulation is not wrath. So um, I'm really glad that uh, really glad that the Lord's revealing that. I studied the scriptures, watched an awesome video. Um, that doctrine is, the doctrine's right for me. Um, yeah, we're, guys, we got to go through some things. Tribulation is not wrath. It's not the same thing. We're going to go through some things. You better be ready. And um, so when, when that happens and you come across this video, um, just be like, all right, didn't happen. Don't lose your hope. Um, yeah, just make sure those fruits are manifesting in you. Cause you're going to need, we're going to need patience to endure. How can you endure those times? Um, you think it's bad now? How can you endure those times? If we're here for that, how can we endure without patience, without the fruits manifesting and be praising God when they lock us up in prison for 10 days? How, um, look at everybody else dying for, for, um, his namesake. But you think because we're in America, we're special and we're not we're not going to go through it. Oh, Jesus is going to come and get us out of here. Um, us in America. I hear people say this. I'm not kidding. That's why I'm my, that's why red flags are going off also. Like 
Like, really? Like, um, like we're, we, we don't have to, you know, we just sit back. It's not going to touch us. You guys, um, America's not special. Um, you know, they were, they were founded by the Freemasons. It's not what you guys think. Um, it's not, it's not, it's not what you think, you know? <laughs> yeah. There's judgment. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a godless nation. You know, Hollywood's going to get theirs too. Don't follow after them. Don't follow after them celebrities and golden calves and idols. Put away your idols. Put away all of it. Pay attention to what you're letting into your ears and your eyes. Start rooting that stuff out. Stop looking upon that stuff. Um, and if you're smoking marijuana, um, there's someone else I talked to just yesterday who's, you know, um, my actual sister <laughs> who, uh, you know, explaining to her a little bit and others can can relate. Um it's hard for the fruits to manifest if you're altering your mind. It's hard for the Holy Spirit to get in there and start manifesting the joy, the peace, patience, um, self-control, temperance. Those things will start to manifest because the self-control has to come for us to put that stuff away. But it's hard to, how can he manifest in a temple that's, that's um, the mind's altered, you know, um, and it's being polluted and you take one hit of a joint and you're high. How can he manifest the fruits of the Holy Spirit in that house, in that kind of environment? Um, yeah, uh, so I'll, I'll pull you away from that, but my sister's starting to hear, so pr please pray for her. Um, her name's Cassandra. I don't know if she'll watch this. I don't know if she'll mind that I said that. I mean, I don't think, she, I really don't think she'll mind, um, cause I'm asking for prayer for my sister. Um, but yeah, um, but yeah, it's been tough for her cause she's, um, she lost her 23 year old son about it just over a year ago around the same time we lost my mom. So I know it's rough, but since this, she feels like the, the book of Job. All these crazy things have been happening. Um, you know, uh, yeah, it's true. God's trying to pull, tug at her heart. And um, and now um, she would just want, she wants to know the truth. She don't want something. I noticed this about her now. She don't want something that is just going to make her feel good in her sin. She's not looking for a doctrine that's like, oh, okay, now I can, I can stay as I am. And I'm going to just believe that. Oh, that makes me feel so much better. I'm glad that I seen that. No, she's actually looking for the truth and she knows because it convicts her and she's like, oh, that's, I just want, she just wants the truth. She just wants the truth. So, um, that's what I'm noticing about her. So yeah, that's really awesome that God's working on her like that. Cause, um, she was very, very worldly and didn't believe, didn't believe this stuff. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. Okay. Pray for my family. I pray for all of your families. God bless you in Jesus.